Almost all of the camera's settings can be controlled using the information display. To see the information display, press the info button near the on-off switch. To access and change any of the settings here, simply press the information edit button and then use the multi-selector to highlight a setting. Use the OK button to select it and the multi-selector to navigate and make changes. Most camera settings can be selected through the menu system. Press the menu button to display the playback, shooting, setup, retouch, and recent settings menus. Switch between the different menus by using the multi-select buttons. Once you get to an area you want to control, press the OK or right multi-select button to select it. The playback menu is indicated with a play icon. You can access a variety of features in this menu from deleting photos to creating a slideshow on the camera's LCD screen. A feature that you may want to enable is image review. This allows you to have the image automatically displayed on the LCD immediately after taking the picture. To select this option, highlight image review, press OK or the right multi-select button, highlight on and press OK. The shooting menu is indicated with a camera icon. The settings in this menu can dramatically affect how your pictures look. Just a few of the settings you can control here are the image quality and size, active de-lighting, focus areas and the focus modes used, and even the built-in flash. We'll show you how to adjust the image quality and size. From the shooting menu, highlight image quality and select it using the OK button. In this menu, you can choose from NEF or RAW image quality where all of the data from the image sensor is saved to the memory card. Note, this takes up a lot more space on the card and these files require software to be able to view or edit the images. Or you can choose from compressed JPEG settings of fine, normal, and basic. You can also choose to save images in both RAW and JPEG at the same time. Highlight the option you want and press OK to select it. Below the image quality option is image size. Here you can select between large, medium, and small images for printing. The setup menu allows you to configure your camera just the way you want it. Options include formatting the memory card, adding image comments, setting the self timer, and choosing a file number sequence. Another option you may want to enable through the setup menu is a grid in the viewfinder. The grid can help you creatively frame your images. To enable a grid in the setup menu, scroll to Viewfinder Grid. Press the OK button to bring up the on or off options. Highlight on and press OK. Using the retouch menu indicated with a paintbrush and canvas icon, you can manipulate how your images will look even after the picture has been taken. Some of the options include red eye reduction, changing an image to monochrome, or changing the color balance or you can take even more creative control with options like color outline or miniature effect. Let's say you took a picture but you aren't happy with the framing and want it cropped just a bit. From the retouch menu, highlight trim and select it using the OK button. Use the multi selector to highlight the image you'd like to crop and press OK. Use the magnify minus button and the multi selector buttons to resize and position the crop. You can also use the command dial to change the aspect ratio. In the recent settings menu indicated with a notebook icon, you can view the 20 most recently used settings. You can scroll through those settings using the up and down keys. Press OK or the right arrow key to select the option. For instance, you remember we set the grid to appear in the viewfinder. To see that setting, navigate to the recent settings menu and scroll up or down to highlight the viewfinder grid option. Press the right arrow key or OK button to select it. You can then turn the grid on or off through this menu. There are many creative and powerful features and functions in the menu system. We've highlighted some of them, but you can learn more about others by experimenting with them in the menu system. Don't worry about making an inaccurate change to a particular setting. You can always restore shooting and setup changes to the default settings by using the reset option at the top of the individual menu.